Hello friends, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we will be developing ladder logic from Boolean expressions. So let's look at the example first. Example 15. Y is equal to A naught B plus A B naught. And Y is equal to A naught B plus C D. So we will start with the first one that is y is equal to a naught b plus a b naught. So let's move to eco structure machine expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for the example. I will open eco structure machine expert. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive and then click on apply. Then I will go to configuration tab where there is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221 C24. I will click on it and drag it to here. Do you want to replace? Yes. So the logic controller I am using has 14 digital inputs, 10 relay outputs, 2 analog inputs, 1 serial input and 100 to 240 volt AC power supply controller with removable terminal box. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for the example. I can also click on this option for a full screen mode and I can also zoom into it like this. So, so y is equal to a naught b plus a b naught. So we will use normally close contacts for a naught and B naught and then we will connect A naught in series with B and we will connect A in series with B naught and then we will implement OR gate with A naught B and A B naught. I will insert normally closed contact and then a normally open contact. I will also insert a coil here. Then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as A. Yes. And then I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as B. Yes. I will insert one more normally close contact and normally open contact. I will assign address to this contact as I 0.1 and I 0.0. Then I need to connect this. I will click on this option and draw a line like this. So here there is AND gate with B and A and then there is OR gate with A naught B and B naught A. Then I will assign address to the coil as Q 0.0, .0 and symbol as Y. Yes. So for Y to be on, only one input should be on. Either A should be on or B should be on. If A will be on, B should be off. Or if B is on, A should be off. So we will exit full screen mode. We will compile the program. Then go to commission and launch simulator. Then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I'll go to programming and full screen mode. As you can see here, when I turn on A, output Y will be true. And then if I turn on B only, the output Y will be true. And then if I turn on both the switches 
or both the inputs A and B, the output Y will be false. So for output Y to be on, only one input should be on, either A or B. So we will exit full screen mode, we'll go to commissioning and stop simulator. Then we'll go to programming tab, here we will delete this rung and then we will add a new rung. So here we will draw a ladder diagram for the next one. That is A0, B plus CD. So here there is AND gate with input C and D and then there is OR gate with the output CD and B. And then there is AND gate with A0 and BC plus CD. I will click on a full screen mode and then I will insert normally open contacts. I will assign address to this as I 0.2 I 0.3 I will assign address as C I will assign symbol as C yes and then D yes so we have implemented AND gate. So I will insert a coil here. I will assign address to it as Q 0.0 that is Y. And then I will insert one more normally open contact here. And then I need to connect it by drawing a line like this. Then I will assign address to it as I 0.0. 1 that is B. So here is AND gate with C and D and then there is OR gate with C, D and B. So we need to insert one more contact but a normally closed contact. I will address it as I 0, 0.0 that is A. So there is OR gate with C, D and B and then there is AND gate with A and CD plus B. So for output Y to be on, A should be always off. In case A is on, no matter what is the state of these inputs, output Y will be off. So for output Y to be on, A should be off. And then C and D should be on or B should be on. So, for output Y to be on, C, D should be on or B should be on. And, in, and for both the cases, A should be off. So, we will exit full screen mode. We will compile the program. And then we will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller. To do so, click OK. I'll go to programming and click on full screen mode. So if I turn on C and D, and A is off, the output will be on. Or if I turn on B only, the output Y will be on and then if I turn on A, the output Y will be false or if I turn on A, C and D, the output Y will still be false. So for output Y to be true, A should always be off and either C and D should be on or B should be on. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.